in this presentation we have to talk about the polarization by reflection first we should know the meaning of uh, the term polarization you know that uh, ordinary light as its vibration in all the directions this is ordinary light the confinement of light vibration to any desirable direction is called polarization in the polarized light the vibration is confined or vibration is restricted to only one direction we may achieve polarization by the process of uh, reflection in general when unpolarized light strikes a reflective surface it is reflected and refracted say xy is a glass plate if an unpolarized light incident on the glass plate a part of the incident light is reflected and another one portion is refracted this is a refracted beam this is a reflected beam however if the angle of incident matches the polarizing angle suppose this angle is polarizing angle ip the reflected beam is completely polarized this is completely polarized whereas the refracted beam is partially polarized it has both polarized and unpolarized uh, beams here ip is called uh, polarizing angle at this stage brewster has introduced a law called the brewster's law according to brewster the tangent value of the polarization angle equals the refractive index of the reflecting surface you know that for glass the value of refracting index is 1.5 the refractive index of glass should equal tan value of polarizing angle for glass the value of ip is 57 degree according to brewster the refractive index of glass is tan 57 degree now we have to prove the same consider a beam of unpolarized light ab ab is the beam of unpolarized light incident at an angle ip a portion of the light is reflected the reflected component is uh, bc which is uh, fully polarized because the incident angle is uh, angle of polarization another one portion of the light is refracted the refracted component is uh, bd which is partially polarized say which has both polarized and uh, unpolarized uh, beams now this is m this is m the angle n b m c n b m is equal to ip plus this angle plus c b d angle c b d plus this angle refraction which is equal to 180 degree from the figure n b m this angle this angle is 180 degree that is equal to i p plus this angle that is c b d plus this r 
that is a refracting angle of refraction or arc of this being refracting angle the total is equal to 180 degree according to Brewster's law mu equal to tan ib this is Brewster's law mu equal to sin ip by cos ip this is equation 2 according to Snell Snell's law refractive index mu equal to sin i by sin r say this is equation 3 now from equations 2 and 3 sin ip divided by cos ip which is equal to sin i by sin r here mu equal to sin ip by cos ip according to Snell mu equal to sin i by sin r so both are equal so this is equation number 4 we know that sin 90 degree minus theta equal to cos theta from equation 4 sin ip equal to sin i cos ip equal to sin r cos ip equal to sin i na, sin r instead of cos ip we have to use this formula sin 90 degree minus ip which is equal to sin r say this is equation number 5 from equation 5 r equal to 90 degree minus ip then bring this ip here ip plus r equal to 90 degree Here, in the case of glass, IP equal to 57 degree. Therefore, angle of refraction is equal to 33 degree. So that uh, this is 33 degree, this is 57 degree. While drawing the figure, care should be taken. This angle should be minimum. Now, NBM is equal to 180 degree IP plus R is equal to 90 degree then what could be the value of CBD now this is 90 degree perpendicular CBD angle CBD use this formula angle NBM which is equal to IP plus R plus angle CBD CBD which is equal to 180 degree but IP plus R this is 90 degree now we have to find out the value of CBD angle CBD which is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree because angle CBD equal to 180 degree minus angle CBD equal to 180 degree minus IP plus R you should use the bracket that means minus IP minus R angle CBD equal to 180 degree minus IP plus R is 90 degree which is equal to 90 degree 
see this here the angle c b d is 90 degree this is 90 degree this angle is 90 90 degree this is reflected beam this is refracted beam angle between these two is 90 degree now see the conclusion when the ray hits the surface at polarizing angle the reflected and refracted rays become perpendicular to each other because angle between them is 90 degree that's all about the polarization by reflection